Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're taking a look at another set of Gundam Converge Plus. This is the second in the Plus line. Plus is basically for the larger figures that are a little bit too big to be in the standard Converge line and I guess not big enough to be in the EX line. So they put them out as a set of Converge Plus here. So that we've already looked at set one when that came out. Set two is here. Let's go ahead and check it out if I can get the box open and see what we got inside here. So we've got the High New Gundam Heavy Weapon System, the S Gundam Plus Booster Unit, the O, and also the Gotlatan, Gotlatan, hmm? and then the Option Part Set, which gives you the Smart Gun for the S Gundam, the Bazooka for the High New, this uh, set of stuff here for this guy, and then the Quadruple Beam Sabers here for your the O. So we'll go through these in order, starting off here with the Plus 005, the high new Gundam Heavy Weapon System version, which does look very nice. And if we look on the back, it's also pictured with the subarms, the beam sabers on the subarm, and I'm just looking at the weapon set. There's actually more than what we just saw on the top of there. There's actually more in here, including the subarms for the O, and then some other fuel tank bits there, it looks like, for the S Gundam. So this is also going to be including the subarms here for the high new Gundam, so we'll see those a little bit later. All this one on its own is going to come with, I believe, is just the beam rifle there. So let's go ahead and get it open and find out. Inside, where is the gum? Of course, we've got some gum, which is actually packaged in with the other parts, which is interesting because I know when they send these abroad, I know in some countries you don't get the gum. So I wonder how that's gonna work. I'm guessing they're gonna have to like cut this open to take that out to be able to ship these to like America, for example. I know they don't get the gum, but so that's weird. Anyway, here's those parts. We've got the V fin there protected with this little piece of cardboard. And the rest of our parts are in the other bag with my shield trying to escape out of the packaging there. But let me go ahead and get this all put together. All right, there it is. So there's a lot of white space that would definitely benefit from some panel lining. I would recommend just say like a light gray color or something, nothing too stark like black, but it does look very cool. And I do really like that they went with uh, what appears to be the Master Grade Verka design for the Hainu. It does look very nice. So you can see it's got like the chunkier, rounder bits there for the lower legs, the shoulder design, everything like the backpack design all looks to be, as far as I can remember, uh, basically the same as like with the Master Grade Verka. One thing that I do wish it had though was the gradient that you had with like the water side decals that you could make for the MG Verka, how it had like the gradient on the fin funnels. I wish they would have recreated that. I'm not sure how difficult that would be to, I'm, I'm sure it's totally possible, but I'm sure it just would have been more expensive to produce this with a gradient on those. So that's maybe why they had to cost cut a little bit and not make that, but that's a little bit disappointing that. So they do have some nice pre-printed decals here on the shield. Those look good. And then one up there on the shoulder as well. So those all look really nice. But yeah, really cool design. It's probably my favorite version of the Hainu design, I gotta say, of the Hainu heavy weapon system version, which does look very cool. The silver bits are nice. I'm totally fine with not having the kind of like uh, orangish bronze kind of color bits that are normally on the back there in some other versions of the Hainu, but definitely very cool. And with that, we can move on to the next one which is going to be the S Gundam Plus Booster Unit. I really love this version of the S Gundam. It's another Master Grade that was unfortunately a P-Bandai kit that I would like to get at some point, maybe someday in the future. It came out and was pretty expensive as a Master Grade uh, of this particular version of the S Gundam, but maybe someday. If I can find it for a decent price, maybe someday I'll get it. But as far as I know, I don't think it's ever been reproduced, so it's probably pretty expensive if you can find one these days, even more expensive now but there it is with the smart gun which is not going to be included with this so i think with just particular kit all we're going to have in the box is just this just like that without any weapons so in order to have the smart gun you got to have the option set which we'll take a look at here at the end should be interesting to see how this is going to plug on the stand as well with it being something that obviously has no legs so in the first bag we've got the gun and the backpack units and then our main body and some other little bits here, including the little stand there for that, and our head, which is inside there. There it is, it looks really nice up on the base there. You got the bright silver bits there at the back, some nice kind of gunmetal color here for these darker parts. And with the tail stabilizer extended, it does look very cool. I wish we had like an option neck part to make so the head was like pointed up 
or that like you could change the angle of this in some way to make it look like it's sort of like flying along at super high speed. Wouldn't be that difficult of a mod modification to do, I think. The angle of the legs and like the body, that's pretty fixed, but I think you could like modify the base or just make a new base for this to make it more like that and then just modify the neck a little bit to make it so it's actually like looking up. So it looks like it's like flying along. But again, we got some nice pre-printed decals here on the front of the shoulder, giving it that very S Gundam design. Panel any bits on the white parts will look very nice but again overall it does look really cool and I will say on this one and on the high new Gundam so far I'm not really seeing a lot of mold lines and so typically on these you will see some mold lines on them just because of the nature of what they are but for these so far I mean for these two the mold lines are looking pretty minimal which is nice which will be very good if you are planning on doing any painting or anything on them then not having to worry about mold lines and stuff like that is a good thing you can see hard point here on the back which looks like for something I don't know what that would be for though I don't think that's actually necessarily for anything and there's one here on the side which I'm guessing is going to be for connecting onto the the beam smart gun probably going to be connected on there we'll find out in a moment but first it's time for the chunky boy himself the O the chunkiest of chunky boys number 007 in the plus line here on the back there's what it looks like with all the beam sabers in use we'll see that once we get to the option set but for now let's go ahead and crack it open oh yeah definitely got some girth to that body and then we got the head the, the uh, beam shotgun and then the little antenna kind of bit that sticks up on the back the base and the gum yo there it is now with this being all yellow well it is a pretty obnoxious color of yellow I, I suppose it's probably pretty right on the good point about that is that it's easier to see the deca details with less white a lot of the different Gundams things have a lot of white sections where you can't really see a lot of the details with this even without going and doing some panel lining on this you can see a lot of those details which is very cool all the pre-printing the pre-painting I should say looks really nice the green bits the red bits a little bit of dark blue up there above the eye. The eye itself looks great. Underneath the feet, they always have detail underneath the feet. Uh, just a heads up in, in case you guys didn't know. I sometimes point it out, I sometimes don't, but they always have really nice detail underneath the feet. Most of the time, you're never gonna see that though. While I do prefer the regular black bases of the normal series, the Plus series has these clear bases. You could very easily paint them in black if you wanted them to be black. Uh, but the nice thing about them, I guess, is if you actually pick up the figure and look underneath without taking off the base, you can see up underneath the feet though. The gun itself looks very cool. A little bit of painting for like the red bits on the top of that would have been nice, so you can just add that in. And this one, like with a lot of other mono eye Gundam Converge figures, you can turn the eye of that, so you just gotta take off the head there. Turn the eye, pop it back down. You can slightly turn the head itself, but not really that much. There's not much room for that to move, but you can turn the mono eye off to one side, which looks pretty cool. And I always mention this as well, but in case you guys were unaware, there's not really much articulation here. You can rotate the arms forward and back, and that's really all the um, articulation that these figures ever have. The legs are basically fixed pose, and they're not really meant to be uh, pose and action pose or anything. They're meant to just kind of be as they are, but it looks really nice. I gotta say, the O looking good. And that brings us to our last one, which I'm going to make one more attempt to say the name, and then from there, here on out, I'm not going to try to say it anymore. The Gotchla Tan. There you go. It's a pretty weird design and not really to my taste, but you know, with that big equipment on there, it is going to look pretty cool. And one thing that I found with these, uh, and as I've mentioned a lot of times in my different Converge reviews, is that oftentimes the one that I'm least excited about, I end up really liking quite a bit. So let's see if that continues here with this one. There's our first bag with like the backpack and the beam rifle, and then our second bag is the body and head, both with some protective packaging. All right, now I'm gonna bring the camera down here as we take a look at this, as the colors are very cool, and the parts in the option parts is actually just like an unfolded version of the backpack, so you kind of have that equipment there, it's just kind of on its back, and what the option part says is gonna give you is like the folded forward version of that, the transform version of that. Now the reason why I wanna take a look at this down here is because you can see it can stand on its own, even though it's got that very long backpack there, but it does come with this little stand here for that which will kind of pop up into there. And you get this on the base and those kind of work in tandem. So it's meant to be this kind of extra little stand there that you need for that, but you really don't need it. It stands just fine on the base. Without that, it stands even without the base, just on its own, totally fine. But that all looks very cool. This really kind of like slightly purplish metallic silver paint there for the gun, it's pretty cool. Of course, those weird 
alien eyes, all the pre-painting on the backpack and everything. I gotta say the quality of this set is definitely looking very nice. Not really finding any issues with the quality of like overpainting anywhere or like mold lines that are like too obtrusive or anything. So very good. So last but not least, of course, is going to be the option parts set here which is going to allow you to make these to look like that. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the contents here. And I wonder if the parts are gonna be separated by which kit they go with. And it doesn't look to be the case because they're all just kind of random. So like there's the beam sabers for the high new and then here's the beam sabers for the O. Here's uh, some different hand parts and you can see there's like numbers on those it looks like so you can tell which one they go to or just some tabs that are gonna need to be cut off of the hands there. And there's our backpack parts, the beam smart gun, the bazooka, backpack parts. Oh, that is backpack parts. Uh, fuel tanks for the S Gundam. See, so yeah, I was saying, I was wondering what that hard point does in the center there. It's for adding the fuel tanks. Uh-huh, right, very cool. And a real quick note for the backpack here for this guy, you can just have it folded up and you can have another stand here included with this, which I guess is probably a little bit more useful uh, for this larger version because it's the same design, but it's much larger. This is the one that came on the figure. And so the working one, the one that actually unfolds, is much larger that you can see them side by side. And I think even if you plan on having this stored on the back and not actually folded forward in use, it looks much cooler having this big massive backpack on there instead of this one, which it came with. So whether you plan on having it deployed or not, I would definitely recommend this. Another cool thing about this is that it has the little clear green part which you need to take off and then put it back on here so it's like folded up. I think that's really all there is to it, just having it folded forward like that. It's got the handles, but you can't really do anything with them. It's just folded forward. You have that clear green part which does look really cool. And yep, it's a pretty unique design. But all right, so here are all the option parts installed on the different mobile suits, and they look great. I gotta say, guys, I really am happy with this set. There's some really cool mobile suits in here and some very cool option parts in there as well. Usually with the Converge figures, you know, you get one weapon, and that's kind of like the main weapon. Sometimes they'll include like an option weapon, but you normally don't have a lot of options with these. So it is really nice to have a lot of options while it is like a separate figure whether if you're not buying the full box you would have to buy these you know separately so it's not exactly like they're included but if you're buying the full box they are included with that so I'm happy to have these all I'm really liking this set the painting on them and actually the quality is just really good and normally the quality is quite good I don't want to make it sound like oh normally the quality is pretty bad but with like the regular sets it's some you know some sets are better than others there you'll sometimes have a set where like the quality is a little bit less than normal but it's never like that bad but with this particular set, it's overall very good. So I'm very happy with that. I think these are all going to look fantastic if you were to go in and do a little bit of detailing on them. Uh, but even not a whole lot is really all that required for them. I mean, just some panel lining, a few little decals here and there, a little bit of detail painting. And this is a very nice set. So let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Of these four mobile suits, which one is your favorite from this set? I don't know, I might have to go with the O just because it looks so cool with the four beam sabers, but I do love the BST version of the S Gundam. And well, the heavy weapon system Hainu is also really cool. While the Gachlatan is not my favorite design, it's pretty weird. It's funky and it makes for a cool converged figure either way. So I don't know, I would have a hard time deciding which one is my favorite, but let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you to us, the Gundam store for making this video possible. If you guys want to check out some more Gundam Converge reviews, I've got a bunch of them here on my channel, so go back and check those out. But as always guys, thank you so much for your support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing. It's all greatly appreciated. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Bye guys.